In this video, I am going to show you how to track Calendly appointment booking conversion tracking for Google Ads. My name is Nassim and I am a top rated freelancer on Upwork with more than 6 years of working experience. I love to share my experience and teach people how to build digital skills and make money from home. So if you want to stay up to date, then consider subscribing to this channel. And don't forget to check this video description because I will give all the resource link on there. Let's back to this topic. This is my Calendly booking appointment calendar. It's embedded on my WordPress website. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to track for Google Ads conversion. I will use Google Tag Manager to set up my conversion because this is the easiest and smart way to set up conversion tracking for social media platform like Google Ads, Facebook Ads, TikTok Ads, etc. So if you are not so technical, you can also contact me. I am able to help you. Let's back here. So this is my Google Task Manager account and first of all, you need to connect your account to Google Tag Manager. So I already did. Just uh, it's very easy. Simply copy this code and uh, input in your website backend under the head. Also, if you use WordPress like me, you can use a plugin. So I hope you can do that. And let's uh, go here. So first of all, I'm going to click on uh, the preview mode. So for preview mode, I need to open this website so uh, here you can see my, you need to open your website link and then let's connect and uh, you can see my calendly page is open on the gtm preview mode so and if i go the assistant you can see it's here so connected and now simply do a test so I am going to test a event. So it's actually the test. So you can see this is actually the confirmed schedule. So I need to track this event. So where someone uh, successfully completed this form. So let's back to the tag assistant and you can see i have got the two calendar event so two calendar event actually one for the select date and time and one for successful event schedule so i actually want to target this event because this is the successful event so now let's make a event go on the convert uh, go on the tag manager first and open new and click on the google ads conversion tracking and first of all create a linker tag just simply follow these steps save it and linker add tag is now okay now you need a conversion id and conversion level so for this uh, tutorial i don't uh, actually conversion value transaction id currency code it's not important because it's for the e-commerce okay so let's uh, find the conversion id and conversion level go to your ad dashboard and go to goals and create your goals so this is actually uh, the website event and you can input your website here i am just using test so it's just taking the website so and then don't use this one just use add manually okay and select the book appointment and name you can choose any name here i want to keep the same name book meeting and don't use any value and all the thing i want to keep um, the recommendation from google and let's continue 
and here you can see my meeting is created now save and continue so i don't use that one so save and continue and this is the three step uh, three way to install the tracking we will use the tag manager because it's easy and smart so this is actually our conversion id just copy from here and paste it here and again copy it here and paste it here and that's it now it's time to make a trigger so click on trigger and click on plus select new and this is actually the custom event so we need to choose our custom event which is calendly just keep it but it's not good so we need to add the more thing because we can see here is the two event but we want to track this specific event so that's why we need to use some custom event so for doing that click on some custom and you can see calendly event but uh, we need to open a new variable which is data layer variable and uh, we need to use our data layer name which is meeting schedule because it's actually the data layer so me actually event is calendly and data layer event is uh, data layer variable actually this so we need to choose uh, this one is actually the variable so click on here and save changes we need to use uh, this one so you can see it's here now and contains will be the this one so exact this one copy and paste it here and now it's actually the trigger custom event which is uh, calendly and data layer when contains with the event schedule so that's mean this event so now let's save it and give any name here and now it's done if i save and give the name and save it and now let's check again so open the debug view again you can see my debug view is opening so and go on the test again next so if I go back the tag assistant you can see we have got one calendar but our tag is not fired so now input the name test the event and schedule it so it's successful confirm and let's back to the another event and here you can see our conversion is successfully fired if you need my assist, open my calendar link and book a 15 minute free pre-project call with your date and time and then fill up a little steps. I would love to assist you. If you think this video was useful, then hit the thumbs up because it helps me to continue working on this channel. And if you want to see more video from me, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Nasim, and I will see you on the next video. Till then, bye. Have a good day.